So BCBS iOS code compliance is an example where we've worked with firms starting with the first compliance date, which was September 1st, 2016. What came up from this implementation and from other implementation is that it's very important to start early. There are a lot of steps to comply to be ready for the compliance date. Uh, and it's not only just implementing a system, it's uh, being able to manage the relationship with counterparties, building new CSA agreements, becoming compliant, and then implementing tools to optimize cost and minimize the impact on the desk profitability. Well, there is a clear need to be compliant as the list of new regulations is growing. There is FRTB, SAMR, BCBS, IOS Co. And being compliant goes beyond the initial compliant. It means that firms will have to adjust to that new regulatory landscape they will have to be ready to implement a very agile solution that can be adjusted each time there is a regulation change and they will be able to have a very quick time to market. In addition, they need to manage costs. So those costs will be first implementation costs, then running costs and increased TCOs. And finally, every transaction is going to create individual costs around initial margin, collateral, funding and capital costs. So that creates a need for simulation tools and what if tools to optimize those costs at best and keep the bank profitable. At Calypso, we work very closely with our clients to offer a solution that is agile. We try to have a very quick time to market. And then finally, we have a set of tools for what if IM simulation, collateral optimization, and optimization of the funding and the capital costs. The costs are, uh, can be divided into two big categories. There will be the implementation costs, and for that it's very important to have a strategic approach when dealing with all the regulations to minimize the implementation costs and have a strategic system approach. That will have a direct impact on the TCOs and the running costs. Now there is another set of costs that have to be managed. It's the cost around initial margin, collateral, funding costs and, and capital charges, right? Those costs have to be optimized at the transaction level. It can be done by a pre-trade what-if simulation or it can be done by a post-trade optimization or, or um, simulation that you can also do with Calypso.